today we have mr kallol roy uh, uh, who is going to talk uh, on user experience and service design uh, his brief profile is mr kallol is an experienced design professional and expert having over 19 years of rich and successful track record experienced working in overseas built experience design team and and customer experience strategy globally he is also involved in leadership of product projects with passion of enha enhancing customer experience craft and design commitments across organization products and client services he is passionate and primarily focused on experience design driving the organization's future design identify and set services and product design strategy envision complex ux design uh, ecosystems brand craft design fidelity to guide design processes he is a certified usability analyst certified scrum master and interviewed by jim garrett hfi and featured in hfi web magazine so we welcome mr kalol roy uh, please have a big you know round of applause thank you i'll leave this yeah, you can Okay. Yeah. Is this working now? Am I audible? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Gayatri, and uh, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kalol Roy, and Gayatri has given a very long list about myself, but I would like to say it very simply because. this is where i learn from you all of you all of guys so i am the learner still i am learning and i love to learn okay so let us talk about today's program so before we start we want to understand i want to understand from all of you that how many of you over here we understand user experience okay good crowd i mean this is very common language nowadays in the industry user experience and people are now practice they have got that nice result out of it within this program and we are going to talk about little bit about ux and the expectation from my side is probably we know little bit of ux we understand the ux we understand cx which is customer experience and then from there how the service design can be evolved okay so user experience getting user experience or customer experience to service design that the topic that we are going to talk about today is that clear okay thank you very much so if you look at this particular picture in this slide you see that it's talking about some user some customer then the front stage and the back stage right so the front stage and the back stage that means user experience customer experience and then service design is all about the whole design system front end back end everything it's not just the front end it is not just the interface design it is designing the whole ecosystem yeah so let us talk about this thing and why i choose that service design as my career and if i look back let us talk about little story about myself around 18 19 years back when i started my career or i i was completing my design studies in my final year i was doing an intern in one of the company designs company in kolkata and i got an opportunity to work on a project if i look that today back and if i start connecting those dots i realized that i was doing nothing but service design that time but that time i was not aware of that what kind of design that i am doing yeah so let us see this can you see this picture and can you tell me anything any idea what is this picture talking about okay gift wrap okay anything okay 
So I, I got I got the answer. I mean, this is what he said. Thank you very much. It's uh, actually printing machine which is printing the currency notes. Okay, this is one of our Indian uh, Reserve Bank of India's security press, which is which is situated in Shalboni in Kolkata, near to Kolkata in West Bengal. So I mean, this is very secure place. Uh, normally, you don't get this kind of pictures outside. Uh, somehow I got this and uh, that's why I could show you. I mean if you see this big like the lines here, these are nothing but the currencies, notes. So they yet to complete the printing, then they will get uh, trimmed off and then packaging. Okay? So in India we have two, this kind of setup, one is in Shalboni, one is in Mysore and these two setup is actually produces 16 million millions of notes every year. So this is what the setup here and I got an opportunity to work in this setup and building an ecosystem out there. So I was not building the entire ecosystem, I was building a small setup or interaction point for this ecosystem. So as I said, it's very rare to get any picture out there, but still let me show you. So this is what we can see. Uh, So ecosystem, why I am saying, saying eco ecosystem, the reason is this is a small city, outside city. Why? Because all the employees are working there, they need to have every single need of life in that campus. They cannot get outside and get something for them, they are living. So we have to set up everything, the government has set up everything inside. So during that, I mean ecosystem. There is a small children park that has to build up next to the school and the college. So that children park was designed by myself. So I was working on that children park for six months. Okay. So now if I look back that I could see that yes, I have started my journey building an ecosystem and building a service for customers or for users. Okay. So that's the journey start. So now let us talk about the customer experience and why service is very important because in everyday life that we go through, if you realize that everything that we use, you experience, there is service, right? Everything, if you realize that it's service, it's provided by somebody else, some company, some organization. Okay, or somebody. It's a service that we are availing and we are experiencing that service from that company, organization or the person and that experience is very important for us as we are customers because the, the company or organization or the person has to survive by doing that for us. So let us see one small video. So uh, a question, is that audio connected? So they can hear the audio as well, right? Yeah. So let us see this video. Is that audio connected now? Looking for anything. 
in particular, sir? Yes, um, that necklace, sir, how much is it? It's £270. Um, all right, uh, I'll have it. Lovely. Would you like it gift wrapped? Uh, yes, all right. Lovely. Let me just pop it in the box. There. Look, could we be quite quick? Certainly, sir. Ready in the flashiest of flashes. There. It's great. Not quite enough. Look, actually, I don't, I don't need a bag. I'll just put it in my pocket. No, this isn't a bag, sir. Really? This is so much more than a bag. Could we be quite quick, please? Prontissimo. What's that? It's a cinnamon stick, sir. Actually, I really uh, can't. No, you won't regret it, sir. What a bet. It is but the work of a moment. Yeah. Almost finished. Almost finished. Well, what's going to be? You're going to dip it in yogurt, cover it with chocolate buttons. Oh, yes. We're going to have it in the Christmas box. But I don't want a Christmas box. But you said you wanted it gift wrapped. I did. But this is the final flourish. Can I just pay? All we need now. Oh, God. There's a sprig of holly. No, 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 no bloody holly. But sir, but leave it, leave it. Just leave it. Filtering around the jewellery section, I see. No, I was just looking Don't around. Worry. Yeah. My expectations are not that high. Okay. How's it? So right. So let us let us talk about that. I mean, what you have seen here, that what customer is experiencing and what the service provider is trying to do. Let us talk, please. And, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Huh. Okay. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. True. <clears throat> right. Agreed. Yeah. So I mean, all 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 the things that we have realized from this video is correct. The thing is that the salesperson or the service provider is trying his level best to please the customer but probably there is some gap what customer need exactly right so what customer need and what is the customer what is the nature of the customer what is the person of the customer what is the environment or the need of the customer that is probably a simple gap out there and that gap creates the whole different experience even though that person has everything within him he has the skill he has that politeness he has the communication he has the presentation everything but still it's failing it seems right so the problem is not with the environment the problem is not with that communication problem is not with the setup and everything the problem is there is a gap in the analysis or understanding right so that is what we are trying to understand today 
that whatever services that we are going to design or provide to the customer, that has to be customer centric. I can have a fabulous design in, at my end which looks awesome at the first look, but whether is that really, really effective or usable and or where it is impacting the customer, that we need to understand. That is what I am trying to explain through this video and this is really, really nice video that we have got. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> very simple thing. Let us get in there, subject. Uh, service, because you are from multi-dimensional background, each and every one of us having our own background, own interest. So I don't want to get into any specific subject which we may not be able to connect to. So let us take one subject that everybody can connect over here in this crowd. So a coffee, everybody can connect, right? I believe so. P. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I think you know we can connect even better because it's Friday evening or Saturday. So we can connect better something else, but I cannot bring it over here. Okay. So let's talk about the coffee. If I just say that, you know, let us think if I want to have a cup of coffee in our very own brand in CCD. What are the feelings or what are the senses coming in your mind? Aroma? Next. Right? High price? But still we go there. Yeah. Right. Environment. Okay? Atmosphere. What else? Nice cup. Artifacts. Right? That's an artifact. Sometimes? Okay. It's irritating. It's a good feedback though. They should know about it. Cleanliness. The environment again. Right? So all these things is making this brand, isn't it? Which we may miss sometime at our home as well. Right? That's why we walk to that counter and get some coffee out there, even though we know that the coffee must be only cost of 10 rupees, maybe, right? But we end up paying more than 100 baht sometimes. And if we go to Starbucks, don't talk about that, let's say, yeah? So why we do that? Because of that overall service that we get. So we are actually not paying for that coffee. We are paying for the experience, the service, overall thing. So it is not about that. As soon as I say that, you know, the uh, CCD or coffee, if I think about CCD, this is what comes in my mind. The inside environment, the outside environment, the seating capacity out there, the facilities out there, right, the cleanliness, the machine is brewing your coffee, the aroma that you said, everything works together, started working together. That means I want to have a coffee, that's my goal. Supporting that goal, all these elements are working together, right? That is why it is service and we are ready to pay without asking any question, right? But the same coffee, if somebody come in the cycle and give you in a paper cup and ask for 80 rupees, will you? No, we cannot, right? So that's the power of designing a service. So this service has been designed and this service is experienced by us, like people like us, the user, over the time. That means service can experience over the time, not over the night. Yeah? Okay. So, when you go there, you talk to these baristas, they suggest something sometime, or you suggest something sometime to them, and they accept it, they make that according to your choice. But at home, if I, my wife come and say, okay, have your coffee, I may not be able to ask the question that, you know, just alter it, right? Sometimes the husband also serves the coffee, I do it, okay? So this is the experience. So these guys all are part of the design. This barista also part of the design, yeah? So as we said that service and these each and every elements is the part of that service. 
what are the elements a part of the service we we have seen the picture front stage and back stage right so everything has to be designed accordingly so let us see another small video which will give you a pictorial view what are the elements supposed to join in to build a service yeah so let us see that video and hope it will start on its own okay let me give you a story on that before we start so it's again coffee shop so as i said example one cycle guy came and serving coffee or another small shop coffee shop which is just started and selling the similar coffee next to ccd but that service is not happening but ccd is happening what is the difference that both the service coffee shop has done if coffee shop a is the other one which is not happening and the coffee shop b is the ccd is happening what they are doing different that is what we want to see coffee shop being the customer at the heart of the experience they talk to them they do some immersive research and really get to know what the customer is doing before during and after their coffee they can map this out on a customer journey where they identify the highs and lows of the experience and uncover some service opportunities and then start to explore solutions the team then start to speak to other people from around the business they speak to the colleagues in store and understand where they live they speak to the founder to look back at the original vision for the coffee shop as well as the marketing team and the suppliers too once they have all of these people together why is it not audible okay okay so uh, i'll just reduce the volume just see the picture because it will explain you and later i can explain you that what they are talking about <coughs> let the voice be there okay coffee <coughs> being the customer at the heart of the experience they talk to them they do some immersive research and really get to know what the customer is doing before during and after their coffee they can map this out on a customer journey where they identify the highs and lows of the experience and uncover some service opportunities and then start to explore solutions the team then start to speak to other people from around the business they speak to the colleagues in store and understand where they live they speak to the founder to look back at the original vision for the coffee shop as well as the marketing team and the suppliers too once they have all of these people together they can run a workshop or a series of workshops where they can identify the real business objective and exactly what they want to achieve they can start to design some concepts and test them with the customers they now have a relationship with they can do a tech analysis and plot everything on the blueprint the documents all of the support systems necessary to bring these concepts to life with all this they can create their no star vision all resulting in a mobile app full of features that customers love but it doesn't stop there they've also identified the colleagues who need to have an application to help them deal with the extra flow of traffic in the store and the payment system needs updating so all three can work in harmony they might design a colleague training and engagement program and we design a store to optimize the physical experience too whilst also looking at how they talk about themselves socially possibly even introducing some new product lines these are what we call the front stage experiences but in order for it to all come together we must look at the backstage too here you will find the back end systems that drive all the digital propositions key metrics that we measure ourselves by learn from and iterate upon the services as well as a CRM system and some delivery partners Was it little clear? I mean, when you saw the whole video, no? Yes? Not so much. Okay. So probably the audio was not so clear. So it is talking about that when we are design the services, we need to design the inside out and the front stage and the back stage, everything, counting everything inside. Okay. Then only we can design something a better service. So. Uh, i can i can give you that you are love this video in your in your off like you no know, later you can have a look into that it's very easy and understandable video okay so now let us get into the subject uh when when i was 
talking about this particular subject to talk here with IPL uh, people. So they were suggesting me that can we have something which people can take away as a like tool or how to do it so that this knowledge, I mean this understanding is good enough but how to do it or is there any process out there or practice out there that we can follow, we can start learning about it. So I want to just showcase you something that we practice in our <coughs> organizations or for our clients when we do the service design for them and which is very very basic and very short term and quick churn which is must to have otherwise you cannot design a service. Because service design process can be huge, it can go for a year, but we do not have that luxury in our actual workplace to do that. How we can do that? We all know design thinking, okay, now it is getting practice into work. So service design and design thinking is actually working hand in hand. If you do want to do the service design, you have to have the design thinking atmosphere and the practice within your organization and then only you can go ahead with this because there are a lot of elements which is practice in design thinking is applicable over here okay so let us see that process okay so let us talk about that service design is the orchestration of the interaction that a customer can have with a system. So we saw that front end, front stage and the back stage and all the elements that pictures that we have seen, those are nothing but the interaction points that customer have when they experience a service. So it's an orchestration of those interactions and make it running all together hand in hand. That is what service design. And when we do the service design in our organization, let me tell you one thing, every single stakeholder, management, higher authority, wallets, they want to see the tangible output. Okay? Even if I say that I want to do one day research, one day workshop, what is the tangible output of that? So we need to show that tangible output. So to convince the people with the tangible output, it's very important to show a graphical view output or a diagrammatical output to them. It is very easy to convince people. Okay, so that's why when we are talking about service design process, I want to put it in a diagrammatical way so that we can understand that. So we can see that there is a stairway approach that we are, I want to share. Okay, please ask me question and stop me if you have any. Otherwise, I will not be able to know that whether I'm going right. Okay, please. Thank you. So service design, to do the service design, the basic four process element is touch point, time, and then description or narratives and the value. Touch point is nothing but the sector or the channels that users are interacting from front stage or backstage. Those are the touch points. And the time, as we said, the service can be experienced over the time. It cannot be done over the night. So over the time, how we can identify that what a customer is experiencing. There's a process called customer journey map. Through that journey map, we can identify that how customers are experiencing interacting with the service. No, it's actually encompasses the same thing, product design. Product design in a different way also you can think of. Let's say we are designing a product which is a, a ERP application. That's a product, right? So in the ERP application also you can apply the service design approach. But that approach would be customized for that ERP solution. Because you probably will not be able to interact directly with the client you probably will not be able to hear from the horse's mouth directly, right? So you have to design it accordingly. But the basic elements that you can apply are these. 
to design the service is that ERP solution which is a soft product that product uh, is it is it tangible so we need to think about in that way if it is tangible or if it is a soft product how we can design that service accordingly is that service you are only working one element of the service or entire entire service so accordingly we have to design that is that make sense okay thank you uh, so touch point time description or narrative description or narrative is nothing but what people are experiencing and what kind of emotions are coming out of the user from the user those are the narratives that we need to count or we we expect what kind of emotions can be built when they are experiencing the services that is what the narrative or the scenario the storyboard that we need to think about and finally we will reach to the value so why value is so important and sitting in the high the reason is if i pay something to somebody i want the something back from that the expectation right so value exchange nothing but value exchange i am paying money and time i want something back out of that so that's the value exchange so value is very important any services that you see in the market today they come up with the very emotionally attached value and the value is not a one page value description it's a one catch line value that they come up with which connect with our emotions immediately so that's why the value is important without any value proposition any no services can be established that's for sure yeah no problem i've heard this term that you are telling i'm not able to visualize it i will show you okay. i'll show you the visualization that's why i said the graphical or di uh, diagrammatical view is very important for everybody whenever we are practicing this we have to practice that how we are going to present our case with the diagrammatical mode okay so another yeah okay so another great service that i i personally feel again all of us can connect wonderla right we everybody visited there we enjoyed okay so see as soon as we say wonderla there is something some picture again flashes right in our mind and which is definitely out of the box of this room nothing connected with this room right so one dollar another another example i just want to show you to understand and get into the subject very immediately so what dollar it says amusement park so that's actually the value promise amusement right the brand is coming with that value promise simple so as we said that one dollar is that something picture works in our mind an eye vision right amazing something is something like that it's also work like this in our mind that the flash mountain when the roller coaster come down and water flashes all those things works in our mind right those are experience that we had and those experience we still carry in our mind and when we are talking we are actually talking about those experience what we are we doing now right now advocating about that experience and the brand is somebody else we are not the brand owner but still we are advocating for that right that's the experience has been injected in our mind or in our emotion now what is this yeah it's a locker in wonderla earlier in the early days in wonderla we used to carry one key with us which is tangling around wherever we go sometimes we lose them also right that's a problem for us so they have identified that's a problem that's not a good experience so they have replaced all the locker into digital locker what how it works you just show your band it will work so you don't need to carry your key that's a good experience right so that's the experience element they have added there right <clears throat> have you seen this kind of scenario in wonderla is a cast member right character have you seen any cast member character like this they are joining their job they are coming to the work in the park we have never experienced that we have only experienced that they are entertaining us they are standing somewhere our kids go there or we go there take a picture and come out and we never seen that when they eat food 
when they change their costume, when they take rest, we never seen that. The reason is that is a backstage operation and that cannot be exposed to the customer. If that gets exposed, that means <clears throat> the magic which is happening within customer's mind will break. So they cannot make it happen. So that's a no-no for them. So we need to understand that what is the backstage, backstage will be backstage, it will only support the front stage, it will not come in front in the during the experience. Have you seen this kind of picture of Wanderla? That's a ride, but the ride is repaired now. It needs maintenance, but we never see, but that happened, right? Everywhere it happens, but we never see that in the picture when we experience that, when we are in the Wanderla. So that cannot happen in front of your customer. That's a back office or backstage operations going on. Or this one, this is probably the highest no-no, the character out of character, cannot happen. If this happen, the entire magic will break. So this kind of things never happens, but this kind of thing is actually going on in the operation. But we never experience that. So when we are talking about customer experience and we, are, we have committed with the value, we, these are the aspects is happening but it is supporting the value it is not like you know exposing in front of the customer right so from there we understand that back of backstage and the front stage how it should work hand in hand that is the the orchestration that we talked about so let us come to the point that we said that basic process or stage steps that we need to take when we do a service design. This is our approach, which is very, very lean approach and it will work if you are always focused with the design thinking and lean, lean process into your system. And whoever actually having the UX or CX, CX background, they will be able to connect it very easily, I understand, but I would like to make it so easy so that everybody can connect with the subject. And if you have any questions, please stop me and let us talk about that. So, touch point, time, description, narrative, or value. So, you have now Wonderla in your mind, immediate, right? Just look at the top line, don't look at the down right away. So, we talked about touch point, which is people, environment, process, policies, physical artifacts, digital artifacts, and time. Time is over the time, experience can be experienced or service can be experienced. So learning, engagement, sequence and pace. What is pace? Right. So we have multiple rides there. From one ride to another ride, how we can achieve that, right? How we can go easily. That, that is the pace. It will ultimately define a pace. <coughs> so it has to be designed properly. That's why in a shopping mall, we have clusters, right? This side your grocery, this side your other stuff. So you can achieve, you can reach to that related thing quickly. That's the pace. And that is actually designed. It is not just randomly put there. Okay? Description, which is, we talked about the emotions. That is the theme, emotion, brand, plot and attitude. Plot and attitude. Any, any question or any understanding you want to share with that? Plot is something that the environment where you are, you are de designing that, uh, say, ride. Uh, around the ride, what kind of security policies that you have to have, those kind of plots you have to design. Okay? And attitude is what kind of vibes you are getting from that. If I, if any ride looks very scary, people may not go, right? So that kind of attitude you have to have in your design on your presentation so that people come and enjoy that. Okay, value, benefit, satisfaction and reward. We all understand about this. This is what the value is mean. Now, let us look at the down part and you see you can connect to that wonderful experience that we talked about. The cast member, touch points, cast member, 
costumes, attractions, restaurants, souvenir, keyless lockers and hotel rooms. All these things are actually the touch point that customer come and interact first. These are the interaction points. Yeah. Now the time, during the time, what are the things our customer experience? Reservation ticketing, arriving to park, waiting in the queue, hotel check-in, actual park experience and the post visit, we talked about that. And then let us talk about the emotions. It is thrilling. Imagination, some of the imaginations comes up, optimism and playfulness, happy family time. And finally, with all those things if you accumulate, these are making these final statement. They say, we promise you will have breathtaking charm and get a little closer to your loved one. True, right? Any, any, any conflict, thought? Okay. So, we'll, yeah, we, I think they will, they can share it and also uh, at the end I can give you my WhatsApp or tweet. You can just reach me anytime. Not only the slides, more materials you can be share with you. Okay. Okay. Service are experienced through a variety of touch points. So we should design each touch point to work in concert with one another. We just talked about this. Yeah. So touch point is the thing and the pressures on people that defines how they will react on that. We need to identify those. How we will identify those? I will talk about that. Time services are experienced over the time, so we need to consider how customer's journey changes across the span of experience. So I'll tell you one thing: customer journey is depends upon the upon the technology also sometimes. The, why? Let's say when early days when ATM was not there, we used to go to bank to collect the money. So that time the customer journey is something different. Now when ATM is came up, that's a technology change, came up, the journey has changed, right? So customer journey depends upon the technology as well. What kind of technology that we are getting in, right? We are getting exposed to. So emerging behavior happening, what kind of things are happening and evolving over sequence of events and interactions, which is the time, over the time we are experiencing something from the service. Narratives are services are emotional. All agree with that? Services are emotional. So we need to craft an experiential story and design for a particular style of emotional reaction. I want my customer to be delighted, but delighted is a very big term. What kind of delight you want? You have to have that clear picture in your mind and you have to work the design accordingly so that you can get that output from your customer. Right? A very specific emotional experience that you want to get or reaction. <clears throat> value, so customer have expectation from the, from the services because they are paying money and time. So we need to clearly define a value proposition which is crisp and clear one liner max, not very big or broad. Now we will get into the journey of making that service. Okay, so we have seen this path, touch point time and it will go stairway up. But what is this? So let us talk about this part that how we can reach to the touch point. We can reach to a touch point analysis by researching or studying our artifacts that we have. Any service you think about today and if somebody come and say that we want to enhance that service. First thing what we will do, we will say that what is there currently today, let us have a study on it, current study, current scope study or current artifact study. So the understand, understanding over here is you have already done your ethnographic research, your customer focus group study, your like emotional journeys, all those things and interaction studies, you have some artifacts already with you right now 
and then on top of it you'll start studying them or analyzing them what is the problem out there. So there could be some transcripts also, transcripts in the sense, let's say you have had a focus group meeting, all customers have given feedback, somebody has taken some note and recording, when they have taken the recording, they listen to those records and they write the transcript also, that's a job. Transcript is written in a point wise, every single line, one transcript and you can read those transcripts and you can find out where is the problem. Now, so we actually, this is the artifact sitting over here, we need to do an audit on that and we talk about this, okay, I talked about this uh, visual aspect of it. So this is just a sample, I wanted to show you that how it looks in the real time scenario. It's really this kind of work happening, okay. Now this is called customer journey, the touch points, okay. So let us think about it quickly, this is a sample. People start from here, their journey starts from here, the up is the emotional up and down is the emotional down, okay. So we identify that these are the touch points, they have an emotion going down. And that means this is the areas that we need to have improvements where the emotions are down. Loop is like probably they are interacting and going back and forth. Okay. So is this is sample may not be able to connect with the subject that we are talking about, the example that we are talking about. I just want to show you that this is how it looks. Another sample I want to show. Right, exactly, good, good point. So, I mean, this is a very interesting point. As I said, the transcript, right? Let's say I'm talking with a customer during our focus group meeting. And the customer is explaining me that I wanted to log into a system and I put my username and password multiple times, then I have got rejected from there, then I don't know how to move it, then one customer care people come in and they help me out and they help me to get inside. This is the feedback they are giving us, us, right? We are writing script, transcript out of that and in the transcript it is mentioned that they have a problem with the interface, that login interface. So that login interface, sorry, the login interface, let's say this is a login interface, this is the emotional, emotions actually down, experience very low, it's not good. So we are identifying that this is a low experience and we, when we put the experience mapping, we, we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and line, horizontal line, we put that based on our understanding, okay, it is in 4 or it is in 1. So by that you can get the graph, yeah. Another example of when we talk about design, it makes a sense in our mind that we are not designer, we are not aesthetically good to design something. We are not artist. I'm not. I'm not talking about artist. I'm talking about a design of surveys. So if you can draw line character, you are a designer. That's simple. Okay. You don't need to be aesthetically very high. These things some visual designers has depicted out from a very rough cut design. Okay. It is not important that always we have to have like this. So if you look at this, is it very? Aesthetically very good, not really, right? But it is giving the picture in our mind what is happening here. This is called storyboarding. So this is actually a park experience story written here. But it is very, very simple and fast and quick agile output. This is what in a practical scenario it happens. Okay? And it is on the whiteboard, simply just draw. Probably it takes maximum 10 minutes. Anybody can do it. So this is an example, okay. So let's get in there. So we talked about the artifacts, that artifacts that we need to do for research and study and do that audit. And the audit sounds very like official, okay. So it, it's actually talk about that, it's audit, it but. Yes, you will miss that biggest element out of that because I will explain what are the things important. If you do not do that, 
you will miss all those things I have listed out, right? You will miss all those points. Yeah. Which image? This image? No, no, no. Value is not here. This is customer journey for the touch points. So it is sitting here. Still it is here and here. Right. These two things are reflecting here. Not everything. Huh. Design thinking is a very small part of this. Service design is much bigger. Design thinking is, I'll, I'll show you design, when design thinking will apply. When you will do that, uh, say, when you do that emotion mapping, right? Emotions we talked about, the narratives. There you are doing the solutioning. You have problems, now you want to find solutions. People, if you ask that problem, people will come up with solutions. Multiple solutions will come up, right? There you need a design thinking approach. Get all the solutions, but the immediate or obvious solution is not the right solution. Okay? Get all the solution, get all the ideas, then collaborate, talk, and then define. Best approach. So design thinking is sitting there only. But as I said, design thinking also important for service design, but it's not spreaded across. It is some of the segment design thinking has to be there. Yeah? Design thinking, yes. Right, very specific. You have a problem out of 40 issues, one problem we are solving and you are applying design thinking. Right? Thank you very much. Okay, now, so artifacts, we need to get into artifacts which is called service audit. So what are the things we need to do? We aggregate those service uh, artifacts and then dissect them into unique buckets and then make a catalog. I will show you the example. Okay? It is, say any audit can, be ha can happen for a day, within a day or within, it may take within a week or week time based on the volume of the service that you attempt to design. Okay? Now, so service artifacts audit identifies the facts have been designed in service and highlights the disconnect between company's goal and user's goal. That is why we need the current products artifacts. Identify the gaps. If somebody come and say, okay, I need to enhance my service or redesign my service, the first question or approach should not be like, oh, okay, I will design it. The first question should be asked that, why you want to do that? How do you know that there is a problem in your service? How do you know that there is a gap in your service and the customer's expectation? What will give you that insight? That is the service audit, will give you that insight. So when you conceptualize new product, you may not do the audit of your product because you do not have anything. What you need to do the audit? You need to do the customer expectation survey, all those things. <coughs> What customer really need? Because any new product if coming into the market, the first thing they want to hit that, I want to solve this problem of the market. Without solving any problem, you cannot bring up any product in the market. So if you want to solve a problem, how do you know that's a problem? Have you done any survey? If you have done survey, then you have a transcript for that. And that's why you have identified there's a problem in the in <coughs> society, which I'm going to solve to my product. Right. right. True. True. Right. 
अच्छा ऑडिट इज आइडेंटिफाइंग द गैप फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गोल एंड द कस्टमर्स गोल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज थिंकिंग दैट माई सर्विस इज सर्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द सोसाइटी बट द कस्टमर इज सेंग दैट दिस सर्विस इज प्रोवाइडिंग ओनली दिस काइंड ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज देर एनी गैप इन दिस टू गोल दैट इज वॉट द सर्विस ऑडिट आइडेंटिफाइड that is identified that is identified what is the problem has been identified in the design thinking yeah so anything transcript that's a transcript actually a customer satisfaction survey that's a report that's a tra transcript for us in the as a artifact it will work as a artifact in our audit okay move ahead so i told about that that when you are uh, dissect those transcript or artifacts and putting into the unique buckets so these are the unique buckets see we talked about this people physical artifact digital artifact environment policies and processes you have got the artifacts and you are not that bucketing them into different different unique blocks now each of these interaction point can be captured in an artifacts so where these artifacts coming persona photographs transcripts you see all these things are physical things or digital things we are getting that from artifacts yeah so now you got the bucketed all those artifacts <coughs> you need a catalog here why what is this catalog talking about so the artifact name over here and that artifact name fall under this module and what benefit that artifact is doing for the customer what benefit that they are bringing for the organization and is there any gap disconnect challenge or frustrations appearing we'll noting down here and it has a unique number we are putting this this is all these things are practically happening in the industry in our design process okay now this things are your input points <clears throat> or your feed for next step i'll show you how so as we said that design thinking right we talked about that as soon as you show that this is a problem and your team got to know there's a problem everybody start finding the solution it happens right because obvious solutions are there known solutions are there smart solutions are there all sort of solutions are immediately available but this is not the right time to find the solution this is the time to preserve those solutions so we talked about this during that time when you are identifying these gaps your team is coming up with the solutions but do not reject them do one thing make a wall simple wall and put those ideas in a cheat note or sticky note and put it out there how will you put it out there because after one week you will find that there's hundreds of ideas but you don't know which idea you are looking at right and even i will forget which idea i have posted there after next day right so there's a way you just put that id number that we id number we see here this id number is mentioned here i'm actually talking about this problem and this is my pro proposal this is my proposed solution yeah yeah that is what you can group them you can also keep it like this so you group how many group you will do in the wall right that's what the numbering see d1.34.2 right so probably the d is a block where you are putting that but you need to have that id because when you are doing this assessment you may end up with finding hundreds of these ids issues okay hmm ha huh. customer is using the services but uh, this uh, should be done uh, before hand by launching of product as a service or service true that the same question he asked that is it a new fresh new product or a product enhancement if it is a fresh new product you have a market survey this is the survey reports if you are right they are they are they are facing in the their daily life right 
that kind of things will come in the first session. Right? Make sense? Okay, now so we got the service wall where we are putting all the, the idea wall, so I am putting all those ideas. We are not rejecting those ideas, we are not leaving them because tomorrow I may need to look back to get the churn that good quick solution out of it. So now getting in there, so artifacts we have got, we have got the cataloging, we have got the service wall now, we are getting the input from the artifact and now we are getting to the touch points. So service slices, touch points can define the service slices. Why slices? Again, same thing, if something is complex, in our school days also in laboratory we go there, our teacher used to say that this is very complex thing, dissect it and slice it and see inside what is there, right? To make it simple for us, we need to slice them so that we can inherit it very easily and understand it because from outside us it looks very complex. So we need to make a service slices out there and the use transcript data and service module catalog. These are the input for service slices. What is service slices? Says that service slice isolates specific aspects of an experience so we can understand the complexity by slicing them. Yeah. So how to do the service slice? Again, these are all board chart paper can be put on wall and can should be done or you can have a soft copy also. <coughs> so service slices how we are going to slice those catalog behavior and information exchange map behavior and information exchange map a uh, video we saw that the salesman is behaving something and the information is exchanging from the customer those things are actually transcripted from the video and those things capture here yeah these four categories you can apply you can go beyond also, but minimum this is needed, okay? Power, policy, influence, emotion map. So there is something uh, also happened because of the power and policy. Let's say in Wanderla, I cannot just, you know, jump the gate when I'm entering. I need to put that, so the ticket, the security guard is there. Those are power, which is controlling our emotions, isn't it? So those things we are putting out here. So there is some policy which is also control our emotions. Those things has to go there, right? Now physical and digital artifacts. We talked about that ticket, physical, and digital band is a digital artifact. Those things we need to capture here. And in the environment, overall environment, pictures, all those things can go here. Okay. So this is artifact slicing that we are have, doing it here. Why we need that? We also understand that. As I said that we need to understand the complexity of the problem in a better fashion, so we are doing this, yeah. I, I cannot hear you. Huh. Huh. If it is a service, if you are doing service, then you can map. If you are doing that product design, only product design, which is a module of a product design, you cannot map everything of this, right? As I said, it's end to end, front stage and the back stage, everything you are enhancing or designing. You are not only just designing the interface. May not come in, right? Yeah, some of the pieces may not come. Let's say you are talking about interface only, right? Right. You are talking about interface, so in the interface, what are the things impacts? You only calculate those. Okay. So in this, say example of Wanderla, they have some interface for ticketing system. Are okay. you designing the ticketing system? That's a software. Huh. Then everything will not be calculated there. Right. 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 I'm talking about the service design overall thing. Okay. So let's just take Ola or Uber itself, right? What will come in an environment? I'm still not able to get. No, I, I understand. Behavior, power policy, probably. Got it. Yeah, and physical digit. Okay. Okay, and what comes in environment? Last. 
in a in a dark night you are in a uh, very uh, wrong situation what i should do is you be nice and टिकेटिंग इज द एग्जाम्पल दैट यू टेकिंग द टच पॉइंट हियर इज Uh, say the ticket counter. I mean, okay. you're ticketing, right? Okay. That is a touch point. You're. I mean, I'm asking you. Right. No, I'm talking about everything, not only ticketing. I'm talking about everything of that service. <coughs> of the entire service. The entire service. I talked about that Wonderla is a service. Right. For us, I'm talking about the Wonderla. It is not limited to one small module or one small product of that entire service. I'm talking so when, about the entire service. So when you come to the touch point, when you come to the touch point. Huge, yeah. And we are trying to also uh, uh, draw an analogy through design thinking class that we had to talk about today. Okay. So we have the first of all the ideation, interpretation, evolution, huh. and huh. expression. Right. Uh, so I think what you have to do is uh, you have to. I think we should go past the, to the pace that we are going to be on for time. We should cover everything in scaling, uh -huh. so that we should get a hold of these slides. So we go to it and we have questions and we should. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always, always, always. Always. So one one thing which. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yes, my please. question, I'll get back to my question. So, ah. sir, so, so you first started off with the artifacts, and then you reached a touch point. Ah. Okay. Here, in this case, uh, at a touch point, there are multiple touch points, multiple. right? So, ticketing is one touch point. Okay. Where the user interfaces or, or interacts with somebody when, before getting into Wonderla, that's one touch point. So you take that touch point and come to this slide, and uh, and you're slicing basically the service provided by that touch point, right? Oh. The ticketing service right. in Wonderla. Right. You're this is not the entire Wonderla no, right no. now. No, no, you're no. taking that one this ticketing is, thing and you're slicing it into four. No, no, no. I'll tell you. So this is say one ticketing issue. Okay. This is one ticketing issue. Similarly, we have multiple this kind of issues. Okay, and ticketing sitting here. I'm just going back because of his interest. Uh, here, let's say ticketing is sitting here. Okay, there are so many downsize emotions we need to solve, but ticketing is one of them. So that ticketing issues is reflecting here as one of the item line. and that ticketing item line will be solved as a enhancement for the entire service and when you are doing this slicing this is slicing everything so the ticketing is sitting there somewhere here with the ticketing issues in the policy power as well as behavioral and physical okay. ha huh. environment is not basically that because the environment is yeah no everything i'm saying ticketing also coming here these are buckets these are bucket slicing so what what should have come into the business of the writing that you are designing a product that is the design then start getting on the ticketing to the ticketing is just one aspect of the entire experience right this part is so when you go from there and there is a hotel ha huh, ticketing will come into these buckets one or multiple buckets this ticketing is a problem area it could be potential problem area and it could be in multiple buckets three slices instead of one slice it is three or five slices so you have to start by say i have got multiple touch points and i bucket them into 
these four uh, will that make sense right okay yeah and it can add one 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 one, 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 one can one ha, multiple, multiple buckets multiple or one okay. or neither one environment better okay so let me just go back here example quickly on environment see the environment we talked about here uh here right environment touch point so environment is let's say overall uh amazement park right uh, wonderla how you go there and you feel the difference as i said first thing it is really different than this classroom isn't it that's the environment physical touch point is your your ticket is physical touch point so if you can go back to the slide where we are slicing so there is a there is two slices one is physical and one is environment so it was looking very similar to me no acha i'll tell you one thing uh the environment that the sitting arrangement outside okay wonderla that's an environment is it a physical touch point are you interacting with anybody there to sit there no but it is in an environment right physical touch point is you are interacting with that thing your interaction should happen physical artifact environment yeah okay so touch points we have sliced them now we are getting into the time customer journey mapping this is very very complex thing but if you practice that it is very easy thing as well we have to practice that it's very challenging okay to identify that and you need to have a similar mental model of people to do this work everybody should come with the zero mind that i am not a boss i am not a designer i am not a creative guy i am not a sales person i am not director everything is similar the person who just walk in in the meeting room when we are doing that with the tea and coffee he also can add a value there it's very very logical and important that's why we say that the obvious problem is the obvious solution is not the right solution always okay so my boss come in and say that i want this thing to happen every 50% people will say yes sir and 50% people will be numb but nobody will say no sir but it is actually you should say no internally the reason is it is not personal i am not doing for my boss i am not doing for my sir i am doing for my customer customer is the central point here okay so that customer journey map is very important how the customer journey map helps as i show you that example another example i'll show you this helps as a common platform that is what i said common platform it is not hierarchical platform it's a common platform everybody is same there when you are standing in front of the customer journey map your thought process should be in the customer journey map not that who am i okay so it's a framework common framework that everybody can come in and they can contribute there and get get the output of this so customer journey map is a scientific approach which will show you where you need to focus and where you can be little relax invoke point for service change so people can say that sir has said or my boss has said that this is what we need to focus on no is that customer journey map saying if it is not then that's not the invoke point invoke point should be directed by the customer journey map delight points and low points everything is emotion of whom customer emotion right 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 that's a customer journey part of customer journey so collaborative decision making device it's a device it's a decision making device so who will decide what to do the customer journey map not xyz customer journey map is a visualization of action emotion and the decisions over time highlights service design or improvement opportunities so we cannot say that we need to improve this or improve that blindly do you have a customer journey map have you done anything that shows that you need to do this enhancement as i said any customer can come and say that i want to build this this will solve this issue how do you know about that this will solve this issue 
right. So, this is actual work the customer journey map when it happens, okay. So, you can see this, I will connect with those Wanderla. When you customer aware about that Wanderla, awareness, okay, consideration, I will go to Wanderla or I will go to innovative some place, consideration, they are taking the decision here. Then they are planning for the day and then they are experiencing and then they are do, doing the advocacy. So, this is a journey states, entire service journey states, okay. And now what they think during those state of journey, there you are marking them. You talked about that emotions, right, that emotions and the feelings that they are thinking, oops, thinking. Now what they are actually doing this time, so they are doing this, they are starting from the journey here and they are going by and these emotions going low, emotions going high, everything and this is the actual area when they are experiencing and when they exit, then after that they are doing some advocacy, positive or negative that is based on the experience what they have. Now you can see these things is the low, now this journey map is actually directing you where you need to focus for redesign or enhancement, not the customer or the client or the stakeholders, this is actually telling you. And opportunity, where we have opportunity, so educate people, inspire them. Like all these things are opportunity, we need to work upon on those opportunities, these are the to mitigate the low state, to make it high. So journey map only can say where is the scope, so journey map is actually taking you towards the project planning, how you are going to scope out your development. This is another example of journey map. not focus group only, focus group is the artifacts in the during the audit that is happened. The high and low based on the cataloging that you have done based on the artifacts, in the artifacts catalog you have that challenge noted down, challenge noted down right, those are the low areas. Okay, now this is another example, <coughs> so in this example you can see quickly that these are the activities probably a customer doing and these are the uh, experience spans and these are the touch points that they are interacting with and these are the activities that they are doing and this is emotion line, this is another way of doing that journey map, okay. Uh, do not map with the example that I have given you, this is not connecting with that and this is what the uh, wall, idea wall separately going along with the process. And these are the red notes which is the challenge area or frustration area and what kind of frustration happening. So it is telling you that we need to solve these areas, okay, this is another way of journey map doing, example. Uh, journey map is a data oriented, customer is not doing this, we are designers or developers are doing this, but doing this not based on my imagination, based on the data that you have collected from the customer, okay, huh, that is all the artifacts in the audit area, we have done that, yeah, so everything is scientific data driven, nothing based on imagination or thoughts or ideas, okay. Now description of the narrative that we talked about, description narrative is the ideal story that we are thinking about the service, that if I do this service and our customer will have the delight mode and what are the experience that they are getting, the hero scenario, we always do that in our project, hero scenario, we go by that. And we also do the worst case scenario but at the end normally, but the hero scenario is always driving us to do something, right. The hero scenarios will come here, the story of future where we have fixed the identified problem which will start indicating the service can provide the meaningful value. So let's say in the cataloging, when we did the cataloging, we have identified 100 items in the catalog, 100 items, 
for example so all those 100 items will not be the priority items Working? Is it working now? Yeah. Thank you. So I'll tell you one thing. Let's say this is a low area. Okay. The low area where we need to solve this. And when we solve this, we may need to introduce multiple solution for that. And if you want to introduce multiple solution for one problem to solve that, then your storyboard should capture multiple. If one solution can solve one problem, then it can capture within that storyboard one. Right. That is a specific area of work. True, true, true. And if you now you can connect whoever coming from the software background, the BAs are doing this kind of work, right? They are writing the storyboard for the enhancement for the new development. So the so BAs are doing are they really doing that through this scientific way? I mean, that's why probably we are failing sometime. It's a challenge. It's not easy, but it is happening in India. I'm telling you, I'm practicing this. And it is happening very, very effective way. I'll tell you, I have seen, I'm getting digressed about this subject. I have seen people, BAs are now getting trained into design thinking. They are getting trained into UX. In the BA conference I have attended, their biggest topic was in that conference is the user experience design. Because BAs are learning, because otherwise they cannot give you the right story that you need to develop. It is always personal preferences otherwise. Business, business, analyst. Okay? So, yeah? Right. You mess it later on. Yeah. Every everywhere. I have experienced several times and I am experiencing this also. It is working. This is scientific way to do that. This is a psychology, we need to understand that. Okay? And think about from that sector that the software that we are designing, if we are the end user of that software, what will feel? Okay, so then you will feel the difference in people's behavior or our attitude. Okay, now, so as I said that, these descriptions of the narratives that we are writing as a story, as a scope for development, these are actually saying that this story is solving this issue, this story is solving this issue, this story is solving this issue. All these solving issues are actually a group of your value, right? You can identify the value from those. So it says that it is started indicating the meaningful value that we are going to achieve out of that. So the value then becomes the advantage and everything makes the advantage. No, I mean these are our activity. But then what we promise as a value? Value that is going to the customer. Yeah, these things are all our activities. Yeah?
right so you are the product owner you have this value in your mind this is your vision to have this vision and transcript that vision to your team is these things right so a leader product leader has has that vision and how to achieve that vision you also know this otherwise you cannot convince me i am your employee if you have this vision in your mind you have this psychology worked for you then you can convince me that okay re, let us reach to that level then we will together work right the entire system work that's why i said product leader is the biggest visioner and they vision something and they make other people believe that the, this vision going to work out ha huh, user stories right? yeah these are all hero user stories yeah and these stories are not developed yet this is yet to develop this is your solutions how the ba the business analyst that they are doing they are creating those stories then those story go to the developer they start developing right same thing happening here yeah so so now we got those stories and now it's the what i said that you know as we have a view of the service experience in totality now we can design a scenario to show improvement to the service the stories are actually improvement stories yeah okay now this is very important i'll tell you really important until unless people see or visualize thing they cannot understand easily you have to bang your head on the wall to make them understand why you want to do this okay so the stories has to write in this fashion and uh, that cvap courses and other courses that for business analyst they are now started learning this thing to do not only just writing on the excel sheet this is very important because you are passing your vision in a visual mode to the next next person otherwise there will be a gap in understanding so it's very very rough cut of storyboard and each story picture that is the entire storyboard is written so this is entire storyboard but this is a piece of information which is talking about to this picture and now you see that this is revised revised touch point new touch point new touch point so we are enhancing a service a uh, 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 cataloging and uh, uh, as a solution part small problem to solve that problem we need to revise one touch point this is enhancement and we need to introduce two new touch point to solve that problem you ask that question right is it multiple solution or one solution it's a multiple solution is solving one problem so within that there are two new new development one enhancement right so this way the storyboards is actually like no nowadays getting written now the value that we talked about value is not a full big paragraph of writing it's a neat and crisp one statement of value and type the social contract it's a social contract it's not a court paper contract it's a social contract with me as a organization and with my customers that if you are paying your value you will get this value back what value that they are paying money and time and then the very important thing that this is for our customer right how we can energize our internal system to do this that is what the establish the implication of that value if i want to create that value these are the things we need to do so then the action points will come up so these are the activities we need to do these are the owners is supposed to do these activities so service implications we need to write which is very very important for internal operation to start or act upon right so establish the implication of the value promise which is a sub promise for ourselves we are going to act upon on this now this should be pictureized and printed and put it on the wall somewhere where we are working so we are talking about the customer use service because they provide value this value is experienced over the time and support the user's goals so i said that the service helps the user to achieve the goal so this value will support to achieve their goal now this is a blank paper where you are going to write all those values 
which will energize our team, which will energize finally the customers. So what will, how we can write that? The top line goal of customer. What is the top line goal of the customer? Then the service expectation. What service is expecting to do or what the customer is expecting from the service. And customer intent. What customer want to do that with this? And then the value promise that we are writing here. One single liner. And then the service implications. Top line goal is the customer's goal. Customer Reven goal. Revenue goal is the op like you know, management thing. It is a different topic altogether. Top line goal. Top line goal. Or your service top line goal. What your service supposed to do finally to the customer. Top line goal is I want to let's say I want to do get a tattoo on my body somewhere. That's a top line goal of your customer. And intent of customer intent of this is why they will use your service. There are multiple service provider for that. Right? What is the intent that customer having in their mind when they are seeing your service in the market? Okay. Service expectation also there, but intent also intent is customer's internal intent, which is sometimes not exposed to the service provider. You need to assess that through those artifacts and the surveys. So, to order to achieve this, we will do A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, which is very important for us. Yeah. So, this is how a service can be designed and developed. Now, at, as I said that, why this value promise for the organization, it is very important as well. We said the value promise to the customer. Why this value promise is important for, for the organization as a team for us? The reason is it has, we can say that this is a North Star because North Star will direct us how to achieve the goal. We need a North Star, right? So, North Star will direct us what kind of environment we need to create to achieve this goal. That is important for organization. Idea filter. We talked about ideas. Well, hundreds of ideas are there. How are we going to filter it? If any, any idea, this goal, that value, supporting the value proposition, if any idea supporting a value proposition, then that idea is picked up from the wall and getting into the system to work upon. If any idea is good to have idea is not entirely supporting the value proposition, that's a good idea to be parked in the parking lot. So it's a idea filtering system. Now evaluate what organization is de delivering is meeting the goal. That's also evaluation you can do by that value proposition. Uh, can we just go to the previous slide? One? So uh, Harsha's question like top line goal and customer's intent uh, he was telling right top line goal okay uh, I want to get a tattoo done but customer's intent will be like uh, the purpose of getting a tattoo done maybe. So it is like okay a style quotient or maybe to uh, do something maybe that is the difference yeah, between that yeah. thing. True. Uh, okay. Or, so I want to get a, a tattoo done that's uh, my goal which the service provider will do but the inside I have some like you know uh, wish that I want to show off or it will give me some boldness within me these are the intent. Pick expectation probably might be like I want to get this uh, tattoo done at a healthy place without any side effects or probably something like that. Expectation so, is I want to I know that I will feel the pain but the pain can be bearable pain. Okay. I uh, it will not impact badly negatively in my health. All okay. those are expectations. So, uh, top line goal, Hygiene, top yeah. line goal anyway we'll get, but customer's intent, it is through the artifacts which yeah. they have done, observed and then emotions or something like that, right? True. Okay. True. Yeah. Service expectation, we will get in the artifacts itself. In this actually we are filling all, after all those exercises we are actually filling value proposition, maybe customer intent and service implication. Is that yeah. correct? Yes, yes. So these things actually, these all these things coming up from the previous activities. 
and this thing is coming immediately next to that value proposition that we did, right? And this is after the value proposition, the implication that we need to write. Why we need to have these things side by side? Because immediately as you show that you know my service will provide this value, there are a lot of stakeholders, management people will come and say, why you are saying that? How do you know? This question will come. This will answer. Right. True, true, true. Okay, I'll, I'll give you one thing, okay. Uh, I have picked up all those examples, if you see, that is related to our own life. The reason behind this, I, we can connect to that. But I have not designed those things. That's why I cannot give. And whatever I have designed, that is, again, there is a legal thing that I cannot expose those. Yeah? But entire thing that we could connect to this, that is what I want to hear from you, if you could connect to that subject. That is my own intention. Yeah? So, this is what supposed to display everywhere in your working environment so that people are getting into the same page every time when they see that. Yeah? So, we talked about this, why it is important. So, coming back to that, this is the basic thing that we need to have bare minimum to do a service design in our industry, in our daily life, wherever we are working. Uh, irrespective of the domain and the industry that we are working. It has to have in this way. There are lots of elaborated and bigger and broader approach out there in the market, but this is bare minimum that everybody does. Yeah, otherwise we will miss those important steps and which will not give you the insight for the next step. Yeah, so touch point, time, description, value, which is our basic line. Okay. So thank you very much for your time and I'm signing off. If you have any question, please, we can talk about that. I love to hear from you and yeah. So thank you all the leaders and I believe the service design thinkers from today. Thank you.